Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday. Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Top Stadium Club Baseball. Eight box, half case, random team number three from a fresh case right here. Fresh case right there. A very, very big thank you to all of these lovely people here finishing off the Stadium Club break. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. All teams are in except for the Diamondbacks. They don't have any hits. But I, they might, they may have some numbered cards, so if we run across any of those, we'll randomize any Diamondback stuff as one lot to one person at the end of the break. If we run into that situation, if any. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Five and a one, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. We got Mark. Down to Charles. Five and a one, two, three, four, five. You should have three in the, I hope so. Is that what you bought? <laughs> After six times, you, uh, we do email you uh, receipts, Steve Olson. That'll tell you exactly how many number of spots you bought in this guy. But we're going to find out in just a second, actually. All right, Rangers down to Marlins after six times. Searching Olsen, one of three. So there you go, three spots, Steve Olsen. All right, Mark, you got the Rangers, Levi with the Indians, Steve Olson with the Rays, Tanner with the Yankees, Daniel with the Pirates, Nick Stanley with the Rays. Mark, you got the Brew Crew and the Fightin' Phils. The M's for David Bruin, Steve Olson with the Giants, little Oppo Joe Mojo. Daniel, you have the KC Royals. Greg with the Friars, Mark with the Tigers. Twins for Levi, Red Legs for Mark. Uh, Nationals for Charles. Daniel Sloan with the Metropolitans, the Rocks for Jeremy Anderson, Gabe with the Cards, Cubs for Mark, Greg with the A's, Joe, you got my Dodgers, Chris Hale with the Angels, Steve Olson with the Astros, Mark Matheson with the Red Sox, Daniel Sloan with the Braves, Levi with the White Sox, TJ with the O's, and Charles with the Marlins. Let's sort by team. All right, any trades? I'll give it a couple seconds. And if you're wondering what you could get for your team, there's the group rate checklist in the chat right there. And we'll also be going by the um, cardboard connection variation guide. So just in the interest of time, I'm going to move kind of quickly through this break, and I may pass some variations. But fear not, our sorting and shipping team will be able to sort um, out those variations and make sure that they get into your hot little hands. All right, looks like no trade. So TWC trade window closed. Yep, TS. Oh, yeah, you're Tanner Stanley. That makes sense. Yankees, good luck. And all Nick Stanley needs is a Vlad Jr. autograph. He's got the Blue Jays. Good luck, man. All right, so we've got eight boxes on the left side, eight boxes on the right side. There they all are. And... Roll the die. We'll use that one right there. And we'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's three. One, two, three. And we'll save these for next time. Random team four already in the store if you want to run that back tonight. I am down. So we will mark all of those number four so that we know that they are from the same case.
Okay. Stretch out my hands here in this one. All right, let's print and let's rip. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for getting in. Break is a little long, but I think uh, Seating Club does such a good job with their photography that it's a uh, it's a pretty fun break to to visualize to look at. All right, let's get the four boxes on left and right side right here. All right, um, so here's what we're looking at: two on card autos in every box. I think there's a decent spread. I feel like someone asked a question uh, earlier. I'm like, hey, are there a lot of vet autos in here? I think there actually are. I think there's like a good good mix between between veterans and rookies and whatnot. Some big names, little names. There you go. There's the official list. Gavin's like, Joe, we're already live? What's going on? It's 524 on the West Coast. We go live 3 o'clock Pacific to 11 o'clock Pacific. We've been doing that for the last, oh, three or four years. So you're already like two and a half hours late. Three and a half hours late. No, two and a half hours late. I know someone who doesn't have his notifications turned on, Gavin. I know someone who is not following us on Twitter, at Jaspi's Breaks, where I let people know every day exactly when we go on, in case I'm running a little late. Follow us, folks. Follow us on Twitter, at Jaspi's Rakes. Always know when we go live. And we, uh, we go 3 o'clock Pacific. Get your notifications turned on YouTube. Are you sure? You're asking me if I'm sure? I always remember you, you went live at 6 o'clock West Coast time. I'm pretty sure. I know when I've been coming into work for the last three years. Five nights a week. 3 o'clock Pacific. Six o'clock Eastern. I've I don't think I've ever gone on at six o'clock West Coast time, ever. Right, that guy's a possibility, Chris Hale. And there's Jay Cave, rookie auto for the Twins. Twins on the board early, Levi Johnson. Bell's on now, Joe. Never again, he says. Good, excellent. And you could have been here a couple hours earlier to see all the cool... So those are variations, too. Those will ship, the black and whites. Sorry about that. That's cool, right? In that old Astros uniform. A lot of variations in this stuff too, so you'll get a lot of fun inserts. Always love the on-card autos. Black foil, red foil, orange foil, and Luis Ortiz. Rookie auto for the O's. I always like that that white panel on the front of the uh, the Orioles hats. I always thought that was a cool look. TJ with the Orioles on the board. We will do a quick, uh, I should have announced this earlier in the break, but we will do a quick um, autograph recap 
Um, should I do a separate video? Nah, I'll do it at the end of the break. Nice. A pensive George Brett. So those were your two autographs from this box. Good start. Next, oh, we got to do the, the box topper as well. Sometimes these can be autographed. There's Chris Bryant right there. Only if you let it be, Rory. Only if you let it be. I think we'll be all right. There's plenty of those Fanatics jerseys on the site to keep people going. I think one's almost probably almost full already. Um, well, I'm showing all the cards, technically, Steve Olson. But I'm only top-loading autographs. Otherwise, this break would take two hours instead of the hour it is going to be already. Um, if you want more baseball, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I think, I think Museum Collection, the first serial number break uh, thingy is sold out. And then, um, and then we just need to do one more, and then we can unlock museum collection tonight. Yeah, Rory wants to get that museum going. Jay wants to get that museum going. I want to get that museum collection going. It's been sitting there for a little too long. I thought, I thought everyone loved museum collection. I thought I'd go a little bit quicker than that. We'll get there, though. The hits are just marinating inside. Marinating. All right. Next one. Nice Josh Hader, black and white. There's DJ Stewart, another rookie Oriole for TJ and the O's. It's funny because TJ often, often picks the O's straight up. And pick your team breaks. Cody Bellinger. See Cody Bellinger over the weekend. He had a walk-off walk. And he had a walk-off home run. He is on fire. No, I don't think any girls have gone after Bellinger again. After the first few times, I think I think they have I think they have nipped that in the bud. <laughs> and we got Justice Sheffield, nice rookie auto for the Mariners. That'll be for David Bruins in the M's. They got they got uh, Justice Sheffield in a trade from the Yankees, one of their big pitching prospects. His brother. Uh, Jordan Sheffield, I think, is in the Dodgers organization. Jeremy, yeah, let me know when you uh, when you actually get it. Box topper. Cubs got the last one. That was Mark Matheson. Francisco Lindor. Wow, autograph. I said, told you, some of these can be autographed, and there it is. Five out of ten, Francisco Lindor. 
Box Topper Auto, Cleveland Indians, Levi Johnson with the Tribe. 5 out of 10. Hand numbered. Nice. There you go. Nice auto. Um, for the museum serial number, I think if you read the item description, I think it states who gets the redemptions. I think spot 100. Whatever the item description says, that's where it will go. All right, yeah, very nice box hopper too. That's the first one we've seen. Scores, what's going on in baseball right now? We've got some games that are still in the early stages of, of the game. No finals or anything like that. The Texas-Minnesota game has been delayed. It's the middle of the fourth. Uh, Kansas City up 2-1 on the Nationals in D.C. In the bottom of the fourth, the Brewers have a 1-0 lead on the Pirates. In the middle of the fifth, the Orioles are up on the Blue Jays 2-0. In the top of the fifth, Red Sox up 3-1 on the Tigers. Bottom of the fifth in New York, Phillies and Mets are tied up at one. In the top of the fifth, Yankees and Rays tied at one. In the bottom of the fourth, Marlins and Braves tied at zero. In the bottom of the second in Houston, Angels and Astros also at zeros. So still early stage of the game, not a lot of runs being scored early on. I should actually switch to MLB Network. Do I really want to watch the Mavs-Nets Summer League game? Although, is Zion after this? I need, I need two TVs here. All right, next box. And it's Brad Keller. Rookie auto for the Royals. That goes to Daniel Sloan. Gavin's yeah, asking, Joe, how about that 15-year-old American girl advancing to... Oh, yeah. Coco Goff. I love tennis. That's a pretty great story. Beat Venus in the first round. It's pretty awesome. That's a great story. Women's tennis is pretty... WTA is pretty exciting. Um, men's tennis is a little... Uh, is a little top heavy. But um but women's tennis is pretty exciting. Wow, nice Eloy Jimenez rookie auto. White Sox, Levi Johnson got randomized the Shy Sox. TJ, what's going on? Oh, is she done? Grego saying she's already finished. Maybe not. Maybe she is. Doc Peterson, home run derby. TJ, you got randomized the Orioles. Which is kind of funny because you usually buy the Orioles. Yes, two autographs already. I'm going to show you in just a second, TJ. Michael Kopech. So all this black foil, that'll definitely ship. You got a couple rookie autos. You got DJ Stewart in the second box and Luis Ortiz in the first box. Which this is autograph, right? 
Derek Jeter. I figure that the odds of a of two autographed toppers in the same half case break would be a little rare. But this will still be this is still nice. That'll go to Tanner and the Yankees. Uh, the topper auto, good thing I have that right next to me, TJ. That's not bad, right? Francisco Lindor, 5 out of 10. All right, next one. Now, some of you who are interested in this sort of thing for entertainment purposes only may be wondering, Joe, do you have any financial interest in any baseball teams today? Have you made any investments today? I have, ladies and gentlemen. I am on the Milwaukee Brewers tonight. They're up by one. I am on the Kansas City Royals tonight. They're up by one. I'm on the Bluebirds tonight. They are down by two. I am on the Tigers tonight. I'm on the Tigers tonight? They're down by two. Oh, all right, okay. And I'm on the uh, Marlins. They're uh, tied at zeros. And I'm on Oakland tonight. They're the late game. They're a later game tonight. So that's where I'm at. So still, still have a chance at all the plays. I think I went with the Tigers. Home dogs. Heavy home dogs. Plus 214. You got to put a little something on that just to see what happens. Just in case. Next box. Good luck. And it's Corbin Burns. Corbin Burns autograph for Mark Masson and the Brew Crew. Mancini coming into focus. Tony Gwynn's out of 50. I knew that looked a little different. That is for the Padres. Greg with the Padres. The orange foil on there on that Tony Gwynn. Trevor Bauer. Corey Seager should be back off the IL soon. And we've got more Orioles. Josh Rogers, rookie auto for TJ. And the O's. Got a nice autograph. Let's breeze through the rest of these. We've got our two autos already. Some of those inserts can be can be autographed as well. Like some of these I've seen, so like autographed. All right, box topper and then the next box. It's 
Carlton Fisk, Red Sox edition. All right, that's a great shot. Red Sox, Mark Matson. Next one, box topper back here. All right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, TJ has been on a cold streak. He'll take he'll take as much as he can get in this one to try to make up for that. No, I'm thinking I'm thinking I, I'm thinking he's not looking for a Billy Ripken. Although Billy Ripken, he's on TV all the day. What's Cal What's Cal doing these days? What's he up to? I feel like we see Billy Ripken on MLB Network all the time, right? But not enough, uh, not enough cow. What's he up to? What's he doing? All right, next box. We got Francisco Arcia. Nice rookie autograph for the Angels. That is Chris Hale, Mr. Mike's daddy on the board. I got it. I got it. I held on. AJ Pollock should be back off the IL pretty soon which kind of makes the Dodgers, whose young player have been pitching pretty well, kind of, I guess it's a good problem to have, right? You don't know who to keep up or send down. Wow, really? Odubel Herrera, TJ, saying suspended for the remainder of the season. as related to a domestic violence incident. I thought he had avoided suspension, but it's back again, huh? Man. And there's Nicholas Quifo. Quifo? Quifo? Cufo? Wifo? Don't know how to say his last name. Cufo? Rays, Stephen Olson, rookie auto. a great shot. Right. Box topper. 
It's an Oriole. There you go. There's your Cal Ripken Jr. Not an autograph, but box topper for you, TJ. Which is pretty cool. This would be cool to like frame, right? Box hoppers, if they're not autographed. All right, three boxes to go. Another 15, 20 minutes left in this break. And after this, we'll go through some orders after this. I see, oh, about, about 10 or so orders coming in here. So we'll check those orders. I'm assuming the next, our next Jaspies Fanatics jersey break is sold out. Yes, break three has sold out. Break four is almost in single digits. I feel like we can do a few more of those tonight. Panini one is getting closer to filling. Museum collection spot random two is, clo is in single digits. We can do that tonight. We still have teams moving pretty quickly in that NT basketball, boys and girls. Get into that as well. We did, Ryan. That was uh, that was already done. Video should be up for that already, unless I forgot to publish it. Check the video list. If I forgot to publish it, let me know. Looks like Shane Bieber, Kyle Hendricks, and Max Muncy added to the All-Star team. Is everyone going to do the uh, Home Run Derby Bracket Challenge? I definitely am. Can't win if you don't play. Should we go through the bracket really quick? I think I have it on my MLB.com screen right here. Um, so they seed them one through, looks like eight, looks like. One and eight will facing each other. Five, four and five facing each other. Two and seven on the other side of the bracket. And then three and six on one, on the other side of the bracket. All right. Number one seed and the number eight seed. Yelich versus Guerrero Jr. Who wins? Tell me, MH, what's going on? There's Dakota Hudson, rookie auto for the Cardinals. That'll be for Gabe, Gabe Plunkert, and the Redbirds. Yelich or Guerrero Jr.? Yeah, Rory saying Yelich. He may be a little biased. But actually, I agree with him. <laughs> Yelich has a nice... Compact swing, low effort swing. I'd love to see Guerrero Jr. just crush it, but I think sometimes it's hard for, you know, first time home run derby. If don't realize how how much of uh, how much like people are actually there just to see you watch a glorified batting practice and then try to hit home runs. You know, I think the inexperience may hold them back a little bit. Havoc St. Jr. still gets stage fright. There's Michael Kopech, rookie auto. Don't give it the first time BS, Rory says. Judge killed it. Judge had like a month in baseball the season before, too. He got his feet wet. I don't think Guerrero Jr. was called up last year. Nice Michael Kopech to go along with that Eloy Jimenez, Levi. Another nice black and white Derek Rodriguez. Ultimately, I think it's going to be Yelich. 
What about Alex Bregman, four seed, versus Jock Peterson, five seed? I'm biased. I'm going with Jock Peterson. But I also think Jock Peterson has reworked his swing a lot lately. And I think he's been in the home run derby before, so I think there's a little bit of experience there, which I think helps. Box topper. Rory says jock. Havoc says jock. Box topper is a Yankee. It's Donnie Baseball. Don Mattingling. Nice. That's a great shot of Don. That'll be for the Yankees. Tanner with that one. On the other side of the bracket is Pete Alonso, two seed, versus Carlos Santana, seven seed. I kind of want to go with, I think Alonso's going to win it, but if you want to try to win this $250,000, you may want to go with Santana, hometown guy. Could be a little bit of an advantage there. Nick Jaspi also mentioned to me that um, that there may be a bit of an advantage to lefties. Not that Car does Carlos Santana does his power come from the left? I don't know. I think his home runs come from the left side, right? Yeah, I think Carlos Santana's homers come from the left side. It may favor left-handers a little bit. But it's probably going to be Pete Alonso, though. Uh, TJ says Alonso. What does everyone else think? Havoc says Alonzo as well. Beauty says he's he, Beauty. He's been out out of all sports pretty much for the last fifteen years and just coming back to it. Doesn't have a, a clue for modern day players, but he's seen a little bit of Alonzo. He's thinking Alonzo. Oh, we're guessing, we're going through the bracket, Jay. Pete Alonso versus Carlos Santana. So it seems like the the small sample consensus is Yelich uh, over Guerrero Jr., Peters, Jock Peterson over Alex Bregman. And then on the other side of the bracket, it's Alonzo, Pete Alonso versus Carlos Santana, two seed versus seven seed. And there's Danny Jansen. Rookie auto for the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Nick Stanley. Maybe we'll find his teammate in here somewhere too. Joe Fisher says Pete Alonzo all day. All day, every day. All right, so it looks like Alonzo is the favorite there. Okay, last bracket. Uh, what about Josh Bell, Ronald Acuna Jr.? And speaking of Ronald Acuna Jr., there he is. Black foil, 74 out of 99. Braves. Uh, Daniel Sloan with that. Jay has Josh Bell. Oscar has Acuna. Havoc has Acuna. I think I would I would go I think I would go Josh Bell. Joe says junior. It looks like that one's going to be closer than people think, huh? Just by our small sample size here, voters. Right. 
Don Rapp says, as a Pirates fan, I hope Josh quits early so he doesn't go into that post-home run derby slump. There's Miles Straw, rookie autograph. Steve Olsen with the Astros. I've heard that that's kind of a, that's kind of a myth. The post-home run derby slump? Sort of an old wives' tale? Because a lot, a lot of these guys, actually, at the end of batting practice, at the end of batting practice, all these guys are playing home run derby at the end of batting practice anyway. That doesn't screw up their swings. I think someone actually has done, like, a... Either, like, ESPN or The Athletic or 538 or something like that has done, like, a, a study on... On uh, they took all the players from the last however many years doing home run derby, and then looks at their second half stats. They're not very much different. Or if people do go in slumps, it's generally like a Jock Peterson situation, where where people just figured him out. Like he was just a rookie who was just crushing homers, and then second half of the season, you got half a season's worth of data on Jock Peterson. They knew how to get him out. And a lot of time, that's what happens. Home run derby didn't hurt Aaron Judge last year. Oh, yeah, that's okay. That's the setting I want. Yep, Jay, we got a Francisco Lindor box hopper autograph out of this half. That was our first one of all of the uh, random breaks that we've done. Yeah, that's you, and that's your bat. All right, and the final box. We made it. Yeah, Grego saying Reggie Jackson absolutely laughed at the idea of a slump from hitting in the home run derby. Yeah. I think I forget where that came from, though. There, there was like a story where someone did blame the home run derby. But yes, that's the thing, Don. Don's like, fingers crossed, but if he does, I'll, I'll blame it all on the home run derby anyway. That's the thing. I think that's it's just become that narrative. Because then you'll just be like, well, home run derby. Screwed him up. You know, even though there's probably no direct correlation or very little correlation, more coincidence. But I think then, you know, a lot of fans will still point to him and be like, that's what it, I've done it before too. I've been like, ah, it's that home run, stupid home run derby. <laughs> That's why, you know, but I do remember when Brady Anderson hit 50 in one year. Was it 96? I don't remember the year. But I, I want to say that a lot of it was from, was that when he was leading off? I think a lot of it was from the leadoff spot. Jay can't figure out. How the Pirates can light up top tier pitchers and they can't score a run on a guy who weighs 96 pounds and throws an 85 mile per hour fastball. Uh, because when force meets force, you can hit balls out a mile away. But when some guy's throwing 85 miles per hour, it's almost frustrating because you can't really get hard contact on it. And if you have some decent movement on there, it feels like a, what they call a, a heavy ball. Like you're trying to hit a uh, a bowling ball or a, or a pile of wet paper towels. Location helps. Changing eye levels. There's Michael Kopeck. Another White Sox for Levi. And that's 28 out of 50. That's the red foil right there. Don saying Pirates can light up right-handers. Uh, oh, right-handers not so much, but they can, they can smoke left-handed pitchers. I'm on the Brewers tonight, by the way. Sorry, Pirates fans. Um, so it'll be Yelich versus Jock Peterson. That's what we decided as a group. Who wins that side of the bracket? 
Yelich versus Jock Peterson. I'm a homer. I'm going with Jock Peterson. But I think that's going to be a good matchup between him and and Yelich. Jock Peterson has worked very hard over the years fixing that swing. Jay says Yelich. Very well could be. It's got a, he's got a nice compact swing. Won't get too exhausted. And it's Patrick Wisdom for the Rangers. That's our final autograph for Mark Matheson. On the other side, we I think we, we decided as a group, uh, Pete Alonzo versus Josh Bell. Jeremy Anderson has Yelly too. Pete Alonzo versus Josh Bell. Who wins that one? And that's that. I say I say it's Jock Peterson versus Pete Alonzo. Jock Peterson wins, and I win $250,000 from uh, the MLB.com Home Run Derby Challenge. Boom. Boom. Jay says there's an awesome video on YouTube that talks about how Ichiro could win a Home Run Derby at will if he wanted to. That's the old uh, – the old. who was the Mariners coach back? Why am I blanking on the Mariners coach back then? There's Jose Altuve, box topper, but he, uh, his front office had signed Ichiro, and he was doing batting practice and just slapping doubles, you know, and slapping singles, and and he was like the first he hadn't scouted this guy, so he was like, can this guy do anything else? And then he went up to the cage and he's like, hey man, Ichiro, welcome to the club. Is this all we're do we're gonna do here? Can you hit some homers? And he was like, yeah, sure. And then he started started spraying homers to all parts of the field. And he's like, okay, this guy can hit. I'm going to leave him alone. And <laughs> Ichiro then became Ichiro. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is how Joe became Joe. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.